uh, thank you so much for inviting me to this program and I'm so delighted to be in city of Pune, a wonderful city and uh, my dear fellow colleagues on the dais and ladies and gentlemen, it is such a pleasure to come and share some thoughts. Uh, you must have heard the NTPC story, the ideas from the Poland and uh, my colleague from Gujarat giving you some great idea on the skill development mission and so what am I doing? Can I, can I, f basics, what is the time limit you have for me? 10 minutes, 15 minutes, all right, thank you. Uh, the problem is that we are talking about PSU, PSUs and governance and whenever the governance from the government side is talked about, I start with a small movie which if you have seen, apologize, I, my apologies, but if you're not seen, you will enjoy it, giving an impression of pick what government, whenever we think of government, what does it mean to many of us. Can I, this is a movie in the Spanish office. Uh, five minutes, not more than that. Can I have that, please? Or should I, can I run it from here? Yeah. Thank you. Sound? All right, my request is kindly let's the, the it's subtitles are there, kindly read it in English. It was a Spanish movie, a very short film. Not the best thing I would love, but my mistake, I should have checked it properly. It's a government office in Spain. This lady has come and he asked. So you saw this lady coming to a government office trying to submit an application form, which is a very common affair any day, anywhere you see. And what happens? An interaction in this Spanish office of government. And India, I'm sure people sitting here would agree, is no different. Am I right? 
This is the bureaucracy in government anywhere around the world. So in this context, we are talking about innovations. Of course, we required so much every day, every moment. We are doing it for various purposes, various reasons. Well, I wanted to make a little background for discussion. And it's, it's an old story. It's not new. Now a lot of forms are on internet. You don't have to submit forms. And there was a time when you required double, triple copies, staple together, and the stapler one you won't get in the office. They won't let you have that even. So, so, so I mean, what I'm saying is things are changing, yes, but uh, we in the government, I feel more responsible that we really need to do to make ease of doing business, which is the focus in the ministry even today. Why go that far? I am managing director of this company and a senior officer. Believe me, right now, okay, let me give you a case study to, you know, build on that. Uh, this is the next level, next uh, joint venture that I am considering of my company with an American. Uh, it's like this. For blending of fuel, ethanol, with gasoline, you all must have heard. Am I right? It's a wonderful idea. If, I wish I could have shown you. If you burn gasoline and ethanol to get, um, in separate cups, gasoline leaves behind so much of carbon soot, whereas the ethanol leaves nothing, no carbon at all. Why? Because ethanol has an oxygen element, so it provides oxygen while burning. So ethanol is the future fuel. For so many years, it has been known. But the oil companies are so powerful, they don't let it. There are countries like Brazil in South America where ethanol is 80% blending taking place, and we are struggling to do right now in this country 6% even. Now, 10%, there's an international obligation. We must do it by 2020. And we, the of actual 2018 policy government made is 3% in talks about. My recent interaction says 6%, right? Good. Now, how does ethanol is manufactured in India for the fuel purposes? It is through sugar and molasses, but that is not the only source of making ethanol. We can also make ethanol from corn, maize, as you call them. Americans call them corn, we call them maize. Now, there is a policy, Government of India comes in 2018 for manufacturing ethanol, and uh, good words talked about everything that we will be doing so much for. And oil marketing companies, or Government of India, because monopoly product that is, as it stands today, are the only companies who buy from the market and who produces them, none but our molasses. After the sugar has been taken away, the molasses are left, that can be further processed to take out ethanol. We, American friends of ours who signed an MOU during Vibrant Gujarat Summit that we hold every two years, there have a technology which is not a, any great technology, a company in Pune is also having for bio, um, molasses, the entire country which is producing ethanol for fuel is by this uh, company in Pune only. Now that they produce from corn. Now think of the way if we can also produce corn, our farmers would benefit. Why? Because corn is a dry land uh, which requires less water and whereas sugarcane requires huge quantity of water. So if we start producing corn, uh, ethanol from corn, the income will go to the farmers. Because currently, the corn is being primarily used for starch. And uh, of course, uh, besides the usual uh, cereals in the food chain that it is, other than industry purposes, which I'm talking about, it is being used in a starch and the chicken feed or the animal cattle feed. That is what are the bulk users in our country. What happens is that corn is such a beautiful 
uh, raw material or feedstock. Why? Because you can convert one part of the corn in starch and if you have proper enzymes, you convert into ethanol and the remaining portion goes at the feedstock for the chicken. Uh, and some corn oil also comes out if you... So this is a very simple production where effluent are also minimal. Now the productivity in our country on the corn, as usual, is not very high because it has never been focused upon. Our country's productivity ranges about two tons a hectare. Americans are producing and other European countries about 12 tons. Now in the same land, if we can focus on the productivity of the corn and the farmer can get more, produce more corn from the same land. Why? Because it is possible. And this corn can be converted into biofuels like ethanol and ethanol can be used for blending. Now you will reduce your import bill because most of the 80% or 75 to 80% of the, uh, our fuels are imported and we really need some good amount of foreign exchange which is actually putting pressure on our current account deficit which is increasing our inflation in this country. So here is a product which is really thinking about the uh, increasing farmers income and that honorable prime minister has been talking for so many years and uh, I see a huge future if uh, we can focus on corn and convert the corn into the biofuel and biofuel can replace the normal petroleum and these uh, uh, normal uh, petroleum petrol which is being growing at a very huge pace you are seeing the number of cars number of scooters on the road I don't have to give you the, any data on that but when we went to the Ministry of Petroleum, to, because they are the only buyers, and we said, hey, sir, can you give us a letter of intent? Because our lenders would need that letter of intent to give us loan for setting up our factory, because we will put our equity and we will need uh, some loan also. No reply. Oh, it is obvious, we will buy, but lenders will require a piece of paper to say, because they are the monopolistic buyer, monosopni, as, they, as the word is, for this particular kind of a situation. And we are struggling there. The policy is clear. We will grow, increase our blending. But when you look from the investor's point of view, the policy should also look that investors are going to put money when there is a comprehensive profitability for them. You, as a government, as a public policy, can have a very good... Uh, uh, a policy of uh, increasing the production of ethanol in our country. But unless the investor, the bottom line is he is not, he, is, he, he has not come, no investor comes with any other idea but profit because that's what he promises to his shareholders. So we are struggling there and I'm sure we will get it. But the fact remains, you know, with government you have to be very patient. And often that is the case not just in India, but world over. Well, the, the, uh, idea is not to criticize the government, but only thing is to share a story with you where we, we believe that innovation is always the key. The country has to innovate on many issues, on many fronts. And our company, which I am working right now, is Gujarat Alkalis, and we, we have been doing uh, various innovations to increase our productivity, our share, and uh, 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 our shares in the market. And it is, uh, let me give you a brief detail of this company, which is very interesting. It's a PS, it's not exactly a PS, it's a joint sector company. We are listed on the stock exchange and uh, we have been there uh, since 1973, now uh, started uh, production in about 76 and uh, now we are one of the major manufacturer of caustic soda. Caustic soda is a basic chemical, it's a bulk chemical and uh, this company went through bad period also and uh, now it is a wonderful company. In last three years, if, if I can do a little publicity of my own, can I have, uh, can I quit this and show you uh, my, uh, this is, can, uh, yeah, can you put it on the screen? Can you put it on the screen? 
Yeah, it is here on my screen, but can you put it on that screen? Yeah. That's my company. I joined in 16, and the uh, last three years have been tremendously good, and a company which is growing whose year-on-year uh, -year basis from 2,000 to 3,000 crores in three years. When I joined, it was about less than 2,000 crore, and now uh, last year we have exceeded 3,000 crores, and on that 3,000 crore, 1,000 crore was profit before tax. So uh, this is no, we, we have been adding on products and mar in the market and quality and everything we are trying to make it. That's the kind of a story that this company has possibly generated, a very attractive low mid-cap company in the market and uh, the, 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 the idea, and we have a vision of making turnover to 5,000 crore in next three years and we hope to do it because we have started a joint venture with Nelco, a government of India company. And uh, Nelco needs a huge quantity of uh, caustic soda because in uh, making bauxite into alumina, there's the first thing that requires. So by making a joint venture, 2,000 crore investment, we would be able to provide them good quality and quant quantum of uh, caustic soda. Now, this company started as a joint sector and today uh, it's doing so well. Government PSUs can do so good given freedom to the uh, management. I am fortunate and I'm proud to say Gujarat government does not bother me at all. And my board is chaired by a chief secretary and I, the, as per Memorandum of Associ uh, Association, managing director and chief secretary, uh, chairman are with the government of Gujarat and other investors, again, happen to be government Gujarat. We have around 50% equity from the, in, uh, controlled by government companies of Gujarat, and the rest is in public. And we are doing pretty well year after year. Uh, the story continues, and we have documented uh, this in a book also. It's available on the Google, uh, sorry, Amazon. I think I've got a copy. If anybody is interested, I would surely recommend to read it, uh, the story of my company. And we have not tried to say how good we have been. In fact, we have focused more on how bad we went to and how we recovered from that and how we rebounded uh, back in three, four years. Uh, we had to do a loan debt restructuring also. So this all happens. But the company has a wonderful team, and the teamwork is what matters. The most important resource with you are the humans. You know, everything can come back except a good resource person in your company. So that's where we're very careful and you know, making the team work wonders. And this company uh, has a, uh, I mean, I'm sure has a bright future and uh, I may be uh, hanging my boots as a civil servant and when I will leave them, but uh, I am very sure uh, the new projects that we are talking about, bioethanol and all, in, uh, for increasing its uh, market and generating sufficient cash to uh, make uh, new investments. But all this is being possible with, as I mentioned again, and may we are repeating, with good, good team. The team is most important, and the team does not need I mean, the best is that this company doesn't pay huge amounts. So money is not the best motivator to attract the talent. That's another uh, lesson that I have been talking about. This company doesn't pay uh, because uh, when the MD, managing director, is getting only a salary, what an IS officer I will get in the government. So I can't pay a very huge amounts, but still my team is very good and which is doing whether what I show you wonders in performing. So uh, we, ha we have heard how the managing directors of the various private companies are drawing the, this kind of a money, my, I'm told, why are you with this company when still uh, the, you can get a better job outside? Well, sir, I said, well, well the, the commitment to uh, your service when, when we join as a civil servant, we know very well we won't be paid the best. But the satisfaction that this uh, job that offers me to do such diverse activities. Prior to coming here, as you heard, I was Director General of NIFT, National Institute of Fashion Technology. So, so that makes us a very wide experience to bring us on the table and to run these companies fantastically.
So I know that we are running out of time and I have taken, and I can go on uh, with more and more. And uh, I would definitely request if there are any questions, I would be happy to take or we can close the session. In any case, it is mid-noon and uh, we have more sessions to have. There are more speakers. I certainly believe I am not the last word. There are better people than me in the market who will uh, give you more ideas and more share their more thoughts on it. And my good wishes to all of you. And if you uh, have anything uh, to ask, I'll be, I'm here uh, on the tea. We can discuss, I suppose, after that. Thank you so much.